Hey guys, Sophia here with turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and I'm back with a surprise video. We're talking about the Monsters and Pro 2020 Bikini and Figure competition, which I didn't even know happened. This is all a surprise for everybody that we have now a release of pictures and scorecards. So let's talk about it. So the Monsters and Pro had been canceled by all appearances. They posted on their Instagram that it wasn't happening, but turns out it did happen. A few, day, a few days ago, they posted a little explanation saying that they were allowed to go through with the show so long as they abided by some conditions from the government. So no cell phones, no spectators, no live broadcast, and absolutely no publication or media release of the event until further notice. Crazy. So I think it's quite fabulous. There were a couple competitors who came from overseas who had to quarantine and they still got to compete, which is amazing. And I can only imagine how hard and stressful this was for the promoters to still be able to put on the show. So um, it's, it's a bit unusual. It's kind of odd that it happened without anybody knowing there was no live stream. You know, it, it, it's kind of crazy, but let's just be positive and let's take a look at our figure and our bikini competition, which actually happened on September 2. Okay, start with bikini. So as a recap, in case you haven't seen my other videos, bikini has more than 25 contests in the qualification period. So that means that the winner of a contest automatically qualifies for Olympia, and then the top five receive points. And at the end of the qualification period, the top five ladies with the highest points get to go to Olympia. So if you get second place, you get five points. Third place, you get four points. Fourth place, you get three points. And fifth place, you get two points. So here is our scorecard for the bikini competition. Now, as you see, there are only three competitors. So we have our top three. I will apologize in advance if I am mispronouncing the names. It's a little confusing because sometimes they're written differently on different lists, but I'm just going to read what I see. So in first place, Sang Uk, second place, Ha Yen, and third place, Hei Kyung. So here we have them. I've mashed together uh, the photos that were released. There were not a lot of photos, but we do get to see them. So uh, we will just be happy with what we have. I think when you look at these three women, they are all exceptionally beautiful, absolutely professional. Um, there is nothing to be ashamed of getting top three because there's only three, because these women all are absolutely deserving of the placings that they have. I would say there is something extra special about our first place winner. And I believe what's catching my eye is the teeny tiny waist that so quickly goes into these giant beautiful lats and it comes around into the gorgeous rounded shoulders and then when you look down it comes to the tiny waist and then boom out into this beautiful round glute it's such an exaggerated hourglass shape and it's really eye-catching really beautiful she knows how to pose to make her body look exceptional so i think first place is absolutely deserving the suit is beautiful. The hair is beautiful. I have to say I love that all of these women have their hair off their shoulder to the back so that we can see the lat and the shoulders. It's, it's beautiful. It allows us to see what we need to see. And yeah, I think they all look fantastic. Our second place winner, uh, also absolutely beautiful. She's got equally gorgeous shoulders with a nice lat tiny waist, beautiful round glute. It's not quite as exaggerated, the, the hourglass shape, as our first place winner. And like I said, I think that's kind of exceptional. She really stands out to me. But our second place winner still looks beautiful. The suit is flattering. She looks relaxed. She looks very calm and, and just confident. Um, not quite the conditioning in her legs that I would like to see. I'd like to see just a little bit more uh, quad definition but her abs are gorgeous her posing is beautiful i love it and then our third place winner is equally gorgeous like these women look fantastic i think she has the most muscle mass in her lower body she's got beautiful quads beautiful glutes 
just enough definition that we're seeing a little shape to the quad. Her obliques look fantastic. I wish she posed a little bit more uh, with intention. And now it could just be the picture, but I feel like she could puff her lat even more and more firmly spread her arm to the side just to look a little bit more deliberate and a little, a little bit less casual. <laughs> Not that she's casual. I know it isn't, but just a little bit more um, firmness in the upper body in the posing, I think would be fantastic. But overall, very impressed with all three. Now, from a points perspective, the list has already been updated. So you can see Sung Uk has qualified for Olympia. Ha Yun has five points. And Hai Kyung has 12 points. So she's already way up there, doing fantastic. Okay, figure. Now, figure has less than 25 contests in a year. So the top three in the point standing qualify. And the winner of every contest qualifies. And then the top five get points according to the tier four categorization. So second place gets four points. Third place gets three points. Fourth place gets two points. And fifth place gets one point. Here is our scorecard. Again, there were five ladies and five placings. How lovely. <laughs> you can see we have Da Yang in, or da Jung in first place. Yang He in second, Yun in third, Do He in fourth, and Teresa in fifth. So let's take a look at our lineup. Wow. I have to say, our first place winner is really a knockout. She really stands out. By far the best conditioning, the most muscle tone, especially in those legs. Are you looking at those legs? Because those are incredible legs. Beautiful definition, beautiful separation in all of those muscles of her quads. She just smokes everybody else in the leg department. No question. She also has gorgeous, beautiful, rounded shoulders, unbelievable lats, super puffed, a nice small waist, very flat tummy. She looks relaxed. She looks very confident. She also has great calves. Um... Often you see beautiful quads and then teeny little calves, but her calves, calves are have a nice roundness to them. Very well-deserved first place, no question. Our second place winner, I have to say, I was quite um, surprised with the pale pink suit. It's very unusual and I like it. It's very flattering to her skin tone. It stands out. It's a nice choice for her. Love it. I feel like her posing is not flattering her shoulders. Her shoulders look flat at the top, and I think there needs to be more roundness. So that could just be a matter of angling the hands more down towards the floor. Um, yeah, just, just a tweak in the posing, and I think her shoulders would look even better. Uh, a little bit lacking in the legs, but they're all lacking compared to our first place winners. So um, that kind of goes without saying. Great abs. Beautiful. I, I, I think she has a great package. All right, our third place winner, she's got the shoulders popping. Looks beautiful. Her suit is gorgeous. Lovely lats, nice tiny little waist. But again, what's lacking is the definition in the quads. They're there, you can see them, but they're not really popping like we see in our first place winner. All right, fourth place. Um, again, beautiful. I really like her suit. I love the black and the red with her dark hair and the little bit of a red lip. It's so coordinated and very striking. Probably my favorite suit of all of them. Really gorgeous. It's not quite fitting properly. It looks like it's shifted a bit on top, but you know, that's no big deal. From a physique perspective, uh, I feel like she could be looking a little more full, a little more puffed, a little more um, like firm. I, I, I'd like to see the lats popped out more and the shoulders higher. Just a little bit more firmness in the posing. Um, her abs look amazing. Her legs, you can see the muscle is there. You can just, you're just lacking that separation like you see in our first place winner. I'm going to sound like a broken record here, but um, every, like I said, everybody is kind of lacking in the leg compared to first place. But Still beautiful, a, a well-placed fourth position. 
And then in fifth place, Teresa, who we just have to recognize and acknowledge that this must have been quite a stressful time for her. She would have come all the way from the USA, quarantined, the competition was rescheduled and then canceled, but not canceled. Like, so I, I think, I think this is such an achievement and fifth place is still fantastic. Um, now from a physique perspective, she's got the muscle there. It's just not really defined. So I think it's a conditioning, um, problem. Like you can see her legs are big. She's got a lot of mass in her quads, but again, they're just not showing up. They're not popping. Part of the problem, I think her tan is not the best. It's a bit splotchy. It's a bit too dark. Um, it's not as even and beautiful as some of the other tans on the other ladies. Uh, her shoulders are, I feel like we could see a little bit more striation in there, just a little bit more dryness. And she doesn't quite have the teeny tiny waist like the other ladies have, even though she has amazing, beautifully spread lats. So overall, I think all five of them look fantastic. Um, it was a great showing, and I think they should all be very proud of themselves. But definitely by far, our first place winner takes it. Okay, from a points perspective, again, the, the points are already listed on the website. So um, Da Jung is qualified for the Olympia with her first place position. Yun has three points. Yang Li has four. Do He has two. And Teresa now has one. Okay, so... The Asia Grand Prix happened today, and the results are already up on people's Instagram pages, but I haven't seen the official scorecard. So as soon as I see the official results, I won't spoil it for you, I won't tell you who win, but I will be posting a video as soon as I can so that you can see who, um, how the Asia Grand Prix has changed this Olympia qualification list. And then we have one more bikini show happening in September, that is the Tahoe show, which is next weekend and then there's a whole bunch more competitions coming in october so still lots of opportunities to qualify for olympia as for figure the titan show has been cancelled so there's only two left the european championship in spain and the chicago pro which is actually in atlanta and those are both happening in october so we have to wait a little longer to see some more figure but it is coming so make sure you subscribe i'll be back with more videos Please give me a like if you liked this and comment below. What do you think about the whole secrecy of this competition? Are you happy that it happened or do you wish we could have watched it with a live stream? Let me know. You can find me at turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and of course on Instagram at turquoisetoffee. All right, catch you soon with that Asia Grand Prix video.